And electric vehicles are a major focus at the auto show. And as we continue to see more on the road, we will also see changes along the usual routes when it comes to how to power those electric cars. Running low on fuel in a gas powered car is a relatively simple fix. Just stop at one of the 150,000 gas stations across the U.S. But getting from point A to point B in an electric vehicle takes a bit more planning. Most EV drivers charge their vehicle at home overnight. A typical charge from empty to full takes about eight hours and the range is about 300 miles. That's more than enough for your commute if you live in the Grand Rapids area or if you're going down to Detroit and back for the day. Judd Templin with Ford Motor Company says for longer trips, there are a number of apps that can help you locate a public charging station along your route. When you need a charge, let's say, or you need to stop, you can identify one of these chargers and you just pull your vehicle up um, and almost like you were filling with regular gasoline, you, you pull the, the charger out, plug it in, maybe go grab a bite to eat, um, and the mileage will uh, will regenerate. And EV drivers do need to plan extra time for that bite to eat. Public charging stations offer higher level charges, and that speeds up the charging time. But Templin says it's still more of a sit down lunch rather than a quick coffee and snack from a convenience store, at least for now. As more people move to electric vehicles, Templin expects to see fuel charging centers become mainstream. People stop, they take a break, they get a bite to eat, just like the gas stations that we have today. Yeah. But the difference is instead of filling up with you know, gasoline, they're pulling in their vehicle and setting it down for a charge um, from an electric uh, charger.